I've always been a digital music listener. I grew up in the age of CDs, the age of the iPod, where getting an iTunes gift card for Christmas was kind of a big deal. Streaming really started to become a thing when I was in college, and I just never had an exposure or a desire to get into an analog music format like vinyl, cassette, reel to reel. And I was kind of down on vinyl as well, saying that it was pretty much an inferior format to digital because let's face it, when we look at the numbers, vinyl does have less dynamic range and more noise than a clean digital format, as unbiased as I can hopefully sound saying something like that. But fast forward to 2022, and I was listening to this album, Celebrity Therapist by the Callous Dowboys. Kind of a very small band, and I think they deserve some recognition, so definitely check them out. But I was listening to this album, and for some reason I had this epiphany, this uh, realization that this album probably sounds really good on vinyl. And it sounds really good on digital, but for some reason I had this thought that it would sound really good on analog on vinyl. So I bought the album, I hooked up the turntable, got everything in order, and yeah, it sounded good. But I knew it could sound better. So I actually got some tools like a stylus for gauge, a protractor to help set up the turntable correctly. I upgraded my phono preamp from a Rolls preamp to a shit Manny 2. And now we're going down the rabbit hole of vinyl. So what made me change my mind? Are the callous Dowboys to blame for why I've spent so much money on records in the last few months? Partially yes, but I think I realize now after buying an album that I really like and putting it on the turntable, why vinyl has such an appeal to people and why as a format it has had this great resurgence over the last few years. And while yes, I could say the very stereotypical things about buying a physical format album that you know, you can hold it, you can see the artwork bigger. There's things that aren't on the digital version, like this reverse, of course, is not. You know, the record insert that has the extra artwork as well. And then you get to the actual vinyl itself that is this colored green and white splatter swirl. But I really don't think that's the reason why I'm starting to see the appeal of vinyl. I will say when I did buy this, I did feel like a little bit of an ego surge to where I said, oh, I've got this album by this band that almost no one knows about. And I just felt like an insider. I was like, oh, you know, I've got that on vinyl kind of thing. I don't know. I feel like that's probably a little bit too, that you get that ego surge that it's like, oh, you guys are listening to that digitally? Well, I got the, I got the album right here. I can hold it in my hand. That's kind of cool, right? I feel like kind of like you're stunting on like the NFT bros with their pictures and it's just like, yo, you got a picture of a monkey? I got a real monkey. That might, might be a bad example, but y you get the idea, I think. But what I have found most appealing to me and vinyl is that it is such a different sound than digital. Digital and vinyl sound very different. And in some cases, at the end of the day, I still prefer the digital version. Or the digital version is just so damn good on its own. I want one, but I also want the other at the same time. And I found that even in the case where the vinyl version isn't as good, or the digital version actually isn't as good, which is the case with Triviums in the Court of the Dragon, I felt like this was an incredible album, probably the best Trivium album I've heard in a long, long time. And the digital version I think is abhorred. It sounds terrible. It sounds like they recorded it inside of a shoebox. I don't know what's going on. Trivium's a pretty large band. I thought they could afford a better production, but for some reason on the digital version, I think it sounds horrible. So this was one of the ones I wanted to pick up and said, let's see how good this sounds on vinyl. And I think it sounds much, much better on vinyl. There's some quirks with this album. I don't know if that's because of my cartridge or because of the album itself. I don't really hear this on some of the other albums, but it also, once again, could be the cartridge from the fact that I think this cartridge is almost uh, 40 years old at this point. So I am exploring some of that, but this is one of those albums where I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm really glad I bought this album on vinyl because it's not, I can enjoy, enjoy it so much more 
than the, the digital version. But the real value for me that I see in vinyl is the fact that if I get a record, I'm going to listen to it. And if I listen to it digitally in the future, I probably will pull out the vinyl again and listen to it there again instead. The value of owning the vinyl for me is not so much in the sound quality or the differences between digital and analog. Well, maybe a little bit because in those differences is why I want to listen to the album more than once or listen to it digitally and then analog at some point later or vice versa. And I think that's a really great Thing. Because as audiophiles, I think that there is a real itch to upgrade all the time. And maybe not so much from the standpoint of, oh, I want it to be better, or oh, I'm in a spot financially where I can get it to be better, but rather that we just want a different sound because we've lived with the same sound for so long. And now with exploring vinyl, I can have a very different sound for very much so less than it would cost to upgrade or change equipment while still having the cool factor of owning something that is physical, maybe has a cool splatter print or you know some other print, additional artwork, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, it's hard to get tired of your equipment when you can experiment and listen to it in a variety of different ways. I think I'm really starting to understand. And maybe that's not a good way to put it either because I think for anyone out there, the reason why they would buy vinyl or why they would get into vinyl is different. Everyone's different. Maybe people really do put a lot of weight into having the special editions, having the splatter color, having the booklet, having something you can just hold in your hand. But for me, I see myself getting more into vinyl, buying more vinyl. Like I said, I have a cartridge upgrade that is going to happen probably in the next month or two. But I don't see myself ending up being a vinyl only listener or going so crazy as to get like a uh, Tecdas or Nagra or clear audio turntable that exceeds the cost of a car. I see it as my second system without having to buy a second system. The sound is very different and it's different enough to where if it's an album or something that I really, really enjoy, I probably would buy it and then I can experience it in multiple ways. That's been my revelation with vinyl thus far. I'm just starting to get into it and I know that I'll be exploring it more as a format. So stay tuned and you'll probably see some more vinyl content from me in the near future. I hope everyone had a very happy holiday. I wish everyone a very happy new year. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps me out. Check the links below in the description for other ways to help support the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one and I'll see you next year.